In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a recording in Go React and also use a visual aid in that recording. So from the home page, you would want to navigate to the content section of the course. In content, you would look for the module titled Resource Go React Speech Recordings. Once you're in that module, go to the speech assignment and locate the correct assignment. For this, I'm going to use the practice recording. Once that loads, and it may look a little differently depending on if you're using um, Firefox or Chrome. Internet Explorer is not supported by Go React. Then you would click the Start the Assignment button. Title it. You may add a presenter. You would be the only option to add, uh, but you don't actually need to do that. And here where it says Add PDF Slides, you're going to click there. Then you're going to choose the PDF file that you're going to upload. Remember that PDF is all that is supported in Go React, and so you want to um, be sure that you have converted your visual aid to a PDF. You'd want to have that somewhere you'd be able to locate it. I'm just searching through my, um, obviously have lots of files, so let's just choose this one. So I would double click that, and we would start the upload. That's processing. Once that's all uploaded, you're going to be able to see this visual aid while you're recording the speech. So it may take a, a, you know, just a few seconds here to upload. Okay, so there we go. So we see that the slide deck is right there. At this point, what I'm ready to do is to record. So I'm going to click that record button. This is where the camera should engage, uh, or Go React will need to engage with your camera. So if you get this box asking if you, if you will allow it, yes, please allow. Sometimes you get the box twice. Okay, and then you should be able to see yourself. If you're having any trouble with this, it's possible that Java is not updated um, or that there's something else, you would want to go into that Go React Help Desk link and go to the student section, go and be sure to select Brightspace as the learning management system. And then there are a variety of troubleshooting things in there. Also, if you're really having trouble, I may be able to help you with some stuff, but the folks at Go React are very responsive to email. So there's actually a, a link there where you can email Go React directly, and they are um, pretty good at getting back to you. Okay, at this point, you, you're not seeing your visual aid. So there's this thing here that just tells you the arrows on each side will advance your slides as you go along. You need to click Got It, and once you do that, you're going to see that. Now you can change the size of this if you're not seeing it well. You can, you know, I just usually leave it half and half. And then if, as you're giving your presentation and as you're doing your speech, you are able to advance through these slides that would be your visual aid. Now this is um, a PDF that I use for a lecture, so it's a little bit, doesn't exactly follow the rules of a good visual aid for a speech, but it gives you an idea. So you're talking about whatever's on this slide, you can advance through. Another option is for you to upload the PDF after you have recorded your speech, and then you can manually sync it. That's not an option that I usually do. I find it just to be easier to do it this way. Okay, so you have that. You're sure that everything is there, but you do need to hit begin. Remember, you hit record, so you want to hit begin. So here we go. Um, we're actually now recording now. Just like if you're not using a visual aid, uh, you can pause. When you're done, you can finish. Again, you can still advance through all of your slides as you need to. When you're all done with your speech, hit finish. If you're ever asked to post, you would want to post. Again, it sometimes varies depending on the browser that you're using. And there you can see now your test with visual aid is right in there. If you're not sure, you can always go back into that assignment, see if you can um, how the, what the volume sounds like, how, what the lighting looks like, how the video looks. One of the advantages, I suppose, of, of a person that is recording at home is that you do have the option of, of re-recording. That's I do not set it to just do one recording, although your instructor may do that. I just personally do not. And that's how you make a recording in Go React using a visual aid. It's very simple.